Well, in our top story tonight, vaccine demand is starting to plummet in Central Texas with less than 50% of our state fully vaccinated. Six News reporter Andrew Moore tells us what could happen if the state fails to reach herd immunity. Health districts are trying to find new ways to reach local communities while still remaining realistic about the amount of vaccine they will be able to give out. And there is growing concern about new virus variants. We saw this demand just vaporize. The Bell County Health District had been working for months to keep up with vaccine demand, but in the last two weeks, it's disappeared. Hundreds of slots are now going unfilled. Health District Director Amanda Robinson Chadwell says clinics may end up scaling back as a result. So they're looking at possibly moving to, to a smaller model that doesn't require as much staffing effort. And in McLennan County, while the demand still exists, you can now schedule a shot and get it in the same day. We had a wait list of about 50,000 people and we no longer have that wait list. We've actually worked through that entire group. Meanwhile, less than 50% of eligible Texans are currently immunized. And for herd immunity, you need around 70%. Chadwell said there could be serious consequences. The major concern from my perspective is variants. Um, we've already seen a number of these variants emerge that have been able to break through the vaccine. That's because the more people the virus can still infect, the more times it will multiply and the more chances it has to change into something the vaccine doesn't catch. Another reason why the vaccine may not just keep you safe, but the state of Texas as well. Anyone who prevents themselves from getting infected is another host that that virus cannot get into to mutate. Bell County curative vaccine sites remain open Tuesday through Thursday. McLennan County's sites will remain open from Wednesday through Saturday. So there's still a lot of opportunities to get that vaccine. In Temple, Andrew Moore, 6 News. All right, thanks, Andrew. And the McLennan County Health District says they're planning to continue using their supply of Johnson & Johnson vaccines, but only for Saturday clinics.